Hello and welcome to my channel. You'll see my gorgeous face in a few seconds, but right now you're seeing some names of some lovely people that support me on Patreon. If you wanted to check out my Patreon, uh, link is in the description. Check it out if you feel like it or not. Either way, thank you for even thinking about it and thank you to these guys for supporting me. Uh, enjoy the video. And that's how I sync my mic. <laughs> Hey, what's Damo? And today we're gonna put on some makeup. Makeup. So as you can tell from the title, um, this is a full face of Primark makeup. I went to Primark almost a month ago and bought a full face of their makeup. Their new-ish, I believe, makeup line. I don't know. We don't have Primark in Australia. I moved over here. Suddenly Primark had makeup. They didn't last time I was here. So new-ish. Uh, it's just called P.S. Uh, piss station. I, I don't know. Primark sexy. Primark sexy. Yeah, uh, it's called PS <laughs> and uh, they sell it at Primark and it is incredibly affordable and it looks pretty good. Full disclosure, I've used all of this before because uh, I have actually already filmed this video and it turned out a little shit. Just a little fucking terrible. So uh, we're, we're trying again. So this is not my first impression, but I actually think it's gonna be a little better because I will have tried the product before and I'm giving them a second chance. Some of the ones that I didn't like and some of the ones that I loved, I now have other things to say about them because I've used them a little in the real world. So, was there anything else? I don't remember. I have quite a lot. Um, one, two, three, four, four. 18 items, uh, 18 different makeup items from PS. And that came to a total of 43 pounds and 50 pence, which is pretty damn good for a complete face. And I have some doubles of things. I have like different versions because I have like a gel eyeliner and a liquid eyeliner and a pencil eyeliner. Bish, we got options. Oh, I need that. I will try my absolute hardest to tell you how much each individual item cost, but that was one of the issues with the last version of this video is that I think I forgot about three items in to list the prices. So you, you can Google it if you really want to know, or just go to Primark. Yeah, that's an option. Let's get into it. Ugh. So we're gonna start with primer. I've got the matte primer, oil-free mattifying skin primer. Why am I shaking? I think I had one too many energy drinks today. <laughs> yes, this is um, 42 mils or 1.4 fluid ounces. And this one cost me three pounds, love, three pounds. So let's slap some of this shit on my face. And while I'm doing that, let me just use you as my therapist. Basically, I've had a lot of anxiety about filming lately. And I think that's the reason the last version of this video came out as shit as it did. Uh, and I'm not really sure why the anxiety has suddenly appeared. I wish it would disappear, that's for sure. But um, I'm just thinking, fuck it, hey. Uh, it, my anxiety was all about like whether my videos were good enough, whether I was good enough and, and all of that. And now, now I just don't care if I'm good enough. I've just accepted that I'm probably shit. So here we are. <laughs> oh, that, that was healthy. Thanks for that. Felt good to verbally diarrhea all over you. Right, so now we are primed. Uh, I should mention that I did do a little bit of light moisturizing before the video began, uh, but now we're, we're fucking primed, mate. So let's get that foundation all up on this bish. So this is the double coverage matte foundation. Uh, this one set me back five pounds and uh, I, I already love it, guys. It's good shit. It says long wear matte finish oil free. So that works for an oily bitch like me. I love a matte coverage. I love a, a double coverage. I will say it's not the most full coverage, but for five pounds, you're getting pretty decent coverage and pretty decent wear. I uh, wore it all day yesterday, only had minimal cracking around here, but I am very expressive. So I can't really blame a bitch for cracking. Let's put it on our face. Oh, I've got to go wet a beauty blender. Something I really like about this foundation is the consistency. Just have a look at how thick this bitch is. Oh, she thick. So we're just going to um put it everywhere. Yeah. Now my skin's not the best at the moment. I do have a few pimples, uh, a few little spots. So we can uh, see if it actually will cover those up. Going in for some more, um, just letting you know, so you know just how much you need to get an actual full coverage, because there's something that says double coverage, mm, maybe not, but if you layer it, it does a pretty solid job. Hawk 
Okay, we're looking pretty good. It's very even. It's a nice color. Um, I don't look, I don't look like I've got shit tons of makeup on my face. It's it's kind of natural-ish. It's not bad, but also you can still see a bit of this bad boy here. But yeah, the pimples are showing through just just a little bit. But for five pounds, I like it. it smells like nothing. Just so you know. Rap bitch, next we're gonna get some concealer up in here. So this is the My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer. This will set you back two pounds. Oh, goodbye, Beauty Blender. Oh, I, I do need you. And this is in the color porcelain. I can't remember if this was the lightest or the second lightest. All I remember is that they didn't have one of them. <laughs> so I got the other one. Right, so as I said, I have already used all of these products. This is one of the ones I actually like quite a bit. I will say it is not the thickest coverage. It does sheer out quite a bit, but I found that if you let it dry, uh, let it cook, let it get a little bit tacky on your face before you blend it out, it does have a much better coverage. Still not flawless, but for two pounds, I'm not mad at it. We just drying around a little bit, just hold on a second. Looking mildly ghostly, uh, but don't worry about it because uh, the setting powder I got uh, is, is pretty pigmented, so it's actually gonna tone all of this down. I'm not sure if it is actually a setting powder or if it's just a loose powder foundation, but it was the closest thing I could find at the time, or I'm just blind. These are all options. So this is the My Perfect Color Mineral Powder, medium coverage, oil free, two quid in the color beige. I'm pretty sure that's actually the same color as my foundation, I forgot to tell you. Yep, beige. Just in case you wanted information about my skin, like it helps you. <laughs> and this is uh, this is the powder, so we're just gonna dip in with a damp beauty blender. And before I start creasing too intensely, we're gonna powder our fucking lives away. And dust away the excess. Uh, uh. Sweet, we are set. Oh, we've got fucking powder in my eye. <laughs> now I'm gonna go with the brows. And I have two options today for brows, both brow pencils, and I originally just bought this one, which is the standard brow pencil in, uh, I think it's just dark brown? I don't know, I appear to have torn the name off. Oops. Uh, and this one, again in dark brown. However, this one would set you back a two quid. What? Why did the words come out of my mouth like that? This one will set you back two quid and this one will set you back just one quid. Now, why the fuck is that? Uh, but that's because this one has powder in the middle. You actually undo that and bam, you got a powdery boy. <laughs> now, using this last time, I found that it wasn't very efficient because the size of this thing uh, makes it really hard to get that sort of defined shape that I want. So I, I don't really know, maybe I'm using it wrong. Uh, we'll give it another go though. I will say the quality, like the build quality of this feels really good. Like the lids, oh, they satisfy. Stunning. Stunning. Then we're gonna get the brow pencil and this is one of those nice twisty ones and it's got a bit of a triangular shape. I, I don't think you can see much, but uh, triangulate. And we're just filling in our brows, really, because this isn't a tutorial. Why, why am I treating it like a tutorial? <laughs> brows. Right, so now we're done with the pencil -y crayon bit. We're gonna go in with that middle powder section and I'm gonna use the tool provided to just kind of powder these bad boys. And there's just a little, there's just powder in, in the bottom of this and you just dip and shit and then quit YouTube because <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. Ah, so you gotta twist it a bit to kind of really pick up the powder. So now I figured that out. It is actually going on my eyebrow, which is helpful. Oh, bye. Okay, so that's better than I remember, that's for sure. But um, don't really know if it's necessary. Like I could just be satisfied with the regular pencil uh, and that's half the price and probably got more pencil. But you don't have to use a sharpener on this one and you do on this one. So pros and cons, pros and cons. Now I'm gonna clean up the brows. So we're just gonna get a little bit of that concealer from before, pop it on the back of the hand, Hanny. 
Then we're just gonna get a nice defined brush and just define the line. Now I know they say eyebrows are meant to be sisters and not twins, and I mean, they're definitely sisters, but this one got all the good genetics. <laughs> or was it this one? I don't know, I, I just wish they weren't uneven. <laughs> right, so now we're done with the brows. I'm just gonna give myself a quick spritz of the matte setting spray, uh, just to kind of melt everything together before we move on. And it gets stuck sometimes, so um, that's something to be said about buying cheap makeup. Smells great. Seems to do a pretty good job of setting from what I've experienced so far. Doesn't really actually work though. <laughs> like, oop, you get one out of three if you're lucky. All right, so far I'm looking pretty cute, feeling pretty cute, brows are done, base is done, skin looks quite nice, doesn't look too cakey, looks a little bit glowy, but not, not shiny. So, I'm here for it. Now next I want to do contour, but I didn't actually get a contour palette or anything like that. I couldn't seem to find anything. Maybe I'm blind, but I did get the Nude Basics eyeshadow. And uh, can actually use some of these lovely colors for a contour. So we're gonna go into this one here. Um, apparently it's called Whisper, but the, uh, the picture on the back looks, th that one. That one there looks absolutely nothing like the actual pan. Okay. Right, so we're gonna go in with Whisper. Just under the cheekbones, love. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, I already knew it was pigmented, but I kind of forgot how pigmented. All right. So the Nude Basics palette will set you back four pounds, and it's got a nice, nice choice, a nice uh, little selection for you. Uh, I quite like it, to be honest. It's a very good, like, if you just want natural, Looking, this is anything but natural right now. I mean, it isn't intended to be used as a contour palette, so you can't really judge it on this, but we will use it on the eyes and you'll see what I mean. It's pretty good for a very natural look. I've actually started using it just when I film a YouTube video and I'm not really doing like glam or anything, but I just want to look nice. Um, I use a little bit of the color I'm using now and a little bit of the one next to it, just in the corner of my eye, and I just kind of put it in there and just gives me a little more depth. And it looks good on camera, love. Oof, it's a bit harsh. We might need to, oh, eh. We'll see what happens when we do the other side. You know what? Not, not too bad. It's not even a contour kit. This is an eyeshadow, but I'm not mad at it in the slightest. Contour our forehead down a little bit because it, the bitch is big. <laughs> Cute. We're looking a little burnt, just, just a little burnt. Um, but we can always go over it with some more of that setting powder. <laughs> also, I'm gonna grab another brush because we're gonna go into this one right here and try and use this as a highlight powder. Not highlighter, highlight powder. I don't really know if this is a step people do because I mostly do drag makeup. So that's that's why if, if you're looking at this and going, that's pretty draggy, that's why. Now I'm gonna do a nose contour, yay. Look, don't get me wrong, I love a nose contour. Do I love doing a nose contour? Mm -mm -mm. It's scary. So easy to fuck this up, like, too easy. You know what? I've definitely done worse before, so I'm, I'm kinda happy. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to veil Throw my brush is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna veil everything a little bit with some of this setting powder uh, and a brush. What this does, it kind of uh, reduces the contrast, if you will. Basically, tones my highlights down a bit and will also bring my contours up a little bit, just making everything look a little more even and a little more natural, love. A little more natural. Oh, cute. Fucking cute. Another spritz of the setting spray, melt that all down, darling. Fucking. Fuck. Fuck. Ugh. Fuck. Mmm. Tits. Wonderful. 
feeling pretty cute. So now we're gonna go in and do the eyes, then all we have after that is lips and highlighter. So we're getting there, guys. So we're just gonna do a basic, natural, smoky eye kind of look with a, a bit of a sparkly lid. I, I don't... I'm gonna make it up as I go along. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so let's bust out the same palette we just used to contour. We love a multi-use queen. We love a thrifty queen. And uh, I'm actually gonna go in with the exact same shade I used for contouring. Bam. What was she called again? Whisper. Mmm. Now before we get into the eyes, I just want to talk about this. Because... Hmm. So basically Primark has this little brush set. Uh, it's got four brushes meant for the eyes. Bam. Assuming it is synthetic bristle because this will set you back. Three pounds fifty. <laughs> and um... No. No. I tried using them and to be honest it made me think that this was terrible. Turned out these were terrible. They didn't blend well. Everything was splotchy. It was picking up and dropping shit all over the place. So no thank you. However, yes thank you. Let's get into it. Right, so as I said, we're gonna go in the same color, Whisper, and we're just going to apply that on the corner and kind of start it in the crease. Uh, we don't wanna to go too dark too quickly because I've done that in the past. It's not cute. <laughs> and just kind of blend it up towards the corner of your eyebrow, being a bit cute with it, you know. I'd tell you what brushes I'm using, but most of them are just from eBay. Still better than Primark brushes though, apparently. <laughs> Nice and blended. Love it. Now we're gonna go in with the one next to it right here, Nevada, and we're going to just pretty much darken that crease again, blend up, but not quite as high. I think you get what we're doing here. It's pretty complicated. And lastly, I'm gonna get a slightly smaller brush and go into end game, this dirty thing down here. <laughs> And we're gonna put that right in the corner, kind of just there, really. And then we'll blend that out. I'm also gonna kind of define the edge of the shadow with it. Give it that kind of more crisp look there. Bam, she crisp. See, in person this is looking lovely and blended, but then I have a look on the monitor and there's a bit of a bit missing right here. And it's not really blending as well as I thought. But, I think we can work around that. Maybe I need an eye primer or something, but uh, I've never used one before and I've never really had this issue. From a distance, it looks fine. Up close, it's a bit janky. I'm just gonna go back in with the first one, Whisper, and just kind of put some of that back in and see if that helps it blend, really. Because I don't know what else to do at this point. It'll do. Right, now we're gonna go in and cut the crease. Cut her up, cut up the slot. Let's do it. Let's just go back in with that same concealer. Am I in focus? Fucking hope so. And we're just gonna pretty much cover our entire eyelid. Pretty cute. Not the straightest, but it's okay. We'll touch that up. I'm not the straightest either. Yeah, all right then. Right, now we're gonna go in with some of this gold right here. What you call revival. <laughs> and we're just gonna get some of this Highlighter, this one is called Frosted Highlighter. Bam, she bright. Uh, and this one will set you back two pounds 50. So I'm just gonna put some of Frosted in the center and gold on either side, and then we're probably gonna blend a bit of some brown there. We'll see what happens. Oh, and then eyeliner. Oh, and mascara. And lashes. And then that's an eye. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. I feel like a fucking princess. Oh, bitch. Oof. Oof. Not mad at that. Not mad at that in the slightest. That's pretty nice. Four pound palette. Yeah, okay. I see you, Primark. I see you, piss station. Oh, righty-o. <laughs> righty fucking o. I think I'm just gonna pop some frosted under the brow as well because fuck it. Yes. So I'm very happy with the palette. Yeah, that, it, it do a job. I uh, think a good one. It definitely do a job. <laughs> Let's move on to eyeliner. Right now I've got three black eyeliners today. We've got the pencil, the gel, and the liquid. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, from memory, I think this was probably my favorite. The gel was okay. You don't get a lot in there, to be honest. It's pretty, pretty small pot, and I've used better gels, definitely. Uh, there's a brush in the handle. That's cute if you like that. Uh, and this, this is pretty good shit. This, this one goes alright. Um, 
but I think we're mostly gonna go with the liquid today. The pencil will set you back uh, one pound for two, actually, two pencils and a sharpener. Uh, where's me sharpener? Looks like this, little black sharpener. Or if you wanna get the gel, that's one pound 50 and the liquid. I think there are a few options for the liquid, but the one I got specifically is one pound. So not too bad at all. And I got one with a very stiff tip, darling. A real stiff tip. Like, have a look at this. Yeah, bitch barely bends. That's what I like. Just before I put the eyeliner on, I want to swatch some more of these so you can see the rest of them. Uh, let's have a look. Awaken. Exposed. Nevada. And Whisper. All right. Oh, there's Awaken. There she is. She woke up. Ugh. We got Silk. Revival. Oh, bitch. Laid bare and stripped. I'm not mad at any of those. All of those are pretty damn decent coverage for a four pound palette. Uncovered. End game. Suited. Oh! And influence. Damn. Suited is stunning. This one right here. That is gorgeous. Holy shit. Holy shit! Okay, let's clean that off and get into the eyeliner. So as I said, this has a, a very stiff tip, which I live for, and uh, yeah, it, it does an alright job, I think. Let, let's... I can't really remember. Let's find out. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Leaked into my actual ball. Lovely. It's not the look I was going for, but get out. God damn. Just gonna pop a bit of concealer there to touch that area up because it got a bit messy. I hate everything. <laughs> look at that. I thought it was dry. Where is this wet bitch coming from? Oh. I need to change my battery. This is a mess. Ah. All right, one mild eternity later, I've fixed this eye. I've taken a hit to calm my shit. And now I've also taken a sip. Anyway, so this is the eye. All I did was uh, fix up that mess pretty much. I had to get a wipe and just remove all of that and do it all again. Uh, and I've just taken the eyeliner under in the corner a little bit. But that's pretty much the completed eye look for the Primark Nude Basics palette, darling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the other eye off camera and I will be right back with you for some lips and highlighter. Get into it. All right, I am back and I've got my eyes complete other than mascara and uh, look, I'm not I'm not excited for this part because uh, this was actually my least favorite thing out of everything I bought. This is the Smoky Lash Maximum Volume Long Lasting Extreme Black. And this will set you back 250. Yeah. So immediately, this applicator is fucking massive. That is huge. First thing I did when I tried it the first time was poke myself in the eye, which was far less than cute. And uh, to be honest, last time I used this, my eyelashes just clumped the fuck up. So we'll give it another go, but... Uh, I'm not convinced. Ah! I don't poke myself in the eye again! There also doesn't seem to be any of those uh, edge doobies for the bottom doobies, so... Also, what the hell? My bottom eyelashes are stupid! They're so long! Calm it down! Okay, you know what? I don't hate it as much as I thought I did. But I, I really don't like it at all. <laughs> Let's try the other eye, shall we? Fucking yippee! I just generally don't like mascara very much. Let, let's just put that out there into the world. So honestly, I was finding it a fucking nightmare to cover the roots of my lashes with that monstrosity of a mascara. Um, so I've just gone in with the liquid eyeliner and, uh, you know, done my best. <sighs> Could be worse. At least my lashes are long. Well, that's got nothing to do with the mascara. That's just... 
that's just genetics. Right, so that's definitely enough adventures in mascara for today. So, no. That's honestly the first thing in this like collection that I, uh, I really do not like. Now we're gonna do lips, darling. Bam, we've got a little four pack. So this is a, uh, as I said, it's a four pack of uh, mini liquid, uh, I believe they're meant to be matte lipsticks. And that was mini lip collection, four pounds. So one pound each for these little bibbies. Let's do some swatches. They don't have names, which is super, uh, but they do have, um, Here's number one. Mmm, cute. Number two. Oh, chocolatey cute. Number three. Mmm, caramel cute. That's not really caramel, that's like a sort of peach. That doesn't matter. Number four. Oh, bitch. Oh, nice. Okay, cute. I think I'm gonna go with number four. Oh, these smell. Fucking amazing. I almost forgot. These smell phenomenal. Oh, love that. Live for that. It's very sweet, like some sort of caramel something, something tasty, yum yums. Love the colors. Uh, let's, let's put them on. That's better. Now I'm just going to put a bit more of the frosted highlighter in the center of the lid to give it that pop a dimension. You know we love a pop a dimension. Oh, that's picking up a lot of color. There she is. So now we're done with the lips. All that's left is the highlight. And I actually have another one called Brunch Club. And this one is a bit more golden, uh, a bit more my actual color because uh, I love, 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 love this, but uh, it might be a bit much on my cheekbones. So let's go in with Brunch Club. Just spray some of the setting powder to give the highlight of something to stick to. Pick up a lot of that bitch because I want to be blinding today. And just pop it on top of the cheekbone. Okay. Brunch club. Oh, hi, bitch. Hi, bitch. Highlight right down the center of my nose. Bam. Damn. Okay, I'm not mad at that. I do want to just blend it out a bit up here. That's a bit better. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm kind of in love with that. Um, that's, a, that's a nice highlight. So now I've got the highlight down. One more. Because, why the hell not? It's refreshing. Smells good. And, uh, bitch, when I do makeup, I want it to fucking stay. So far, my experience with the setting powder has been pretty damn good. Um, using the Primark Primer foundation and setting powder, I have managed to keep a face all day with very minimal cracking and very minimal rubbing off on shit. So that's pretty nice. Um, let me just fan myself, give myself a little wah, wah, and I'll give you my final thoughts. I almost completely forgot to tell you about these actually. These are just two more pencils, um, a white one and a, like a light creamy one. The light creamy one is like light creamy. like it, doesn't do a whole lot, to be honest. I don't really know what I would use it for. And the white one's okay. It goes all right. It's got some pigment, but it's n really quite hard to blend. So if you want to do any sort of blending, you've got to put quite a lot of pressure into it. It is all right. It is just really a white pencil. So nothing special about that. And that was one pound for the both of the pencils. Oh, and that also came with a sharpener. <laughs> Alright, so, Primark makeup. This is the result, so honestly, I'm, I'm pretty happy overall. My boyfriend's just come home. This Hello. is Adam. Everybody say hi, Adam. Fucking do it. Oh, they didn't do it. Fucking, you're so crap. Anyway, this is Adam. Hi. Uh, what do you think, babe? I love it. For yeah. Primark makeup, like if you like, if I just met you, I wouldn't know it was Primark makeup. Who am I? I also threw on some Primark lashes. Uh, they're not the most dense or anything, but you know they work. They actually have a little wire in them. I noticed, so they're really easy to bend to your eye shape. And they were 
<laughs> one pound. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with those. So yeah, you think you think most of it's a, a go go? Yeah, most a, of a it's good, a go go. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The only thing in my get fucked pile is the mascara. Now there were about like five or seven yeah. or something different mascaras. I had like a moment trying to select them, uh, and this was the one I went with because it sounded appealing, and I regret. I regret. Uh, yeah, it's just not good. The applicator's shit. The formula's clumpy. I'm not about it. it was, it's so bad that as soon as I finished the first review of this makeup, the one that I ended up scrapping, I threw this straight in the bin. I had to fish it out before I filmed this review. <laughs> like, literally, it went outside. I had to dig through the garbage. I look like a crazy person. Eh. Uh, eh. I still love you. It's fine. Oh, thanks, baby. Now I'm putting it back in the bin. Hey! Satisfying. I did it. Um, yeah, I'll finish this up now. Thanks, BB. Anytime, BB. Mm -hmm. Gave her. Oh, you got lipstick on now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. So, yeah, that's it. That That's my full face of Primark makeup for 43 pounds and 50 pence. That's pretty fucking amazing. I'm honestly impressed, so I would recommend it. Uh, maybe one of the other mascaras is better. We can only hope. Mm. I might give that a try. They did have some other products there that I didn't pick up. So I might go and do that. Let me know if you would like me to. Oh my god. Leave me a comment in the description. No, I write the description. I've done that so many times. Leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite of the, the Primark makeup was or if you've tried it or if you've tried anything I haven't. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Just let me fucking know. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want more bullshit. Yeah, do that. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> but until then, fuck off! <laughs>